Hello, and welcome to The Daily Gasp for May 15th, 2024, called Gasparilla by James Sinclair. So, James is a name that you may or may not have heard of before. James is filling in for Philip. Uh, Philip is taking a little bit of a break. Uh, my understanding is there's nothing wrong. He's just stepping away for a bit, and uh, he's very lucky to have someone who can uh, help take his place. So, James Sinclair. This is um, this is this is uh, James's first, uh, I guess, official entry into uh, into the uh, the Daily Gas. Uh, James did have another entry into Gas that, uh, um, I guess, spoiler alert. James set one of the puzzles from the April first, twenty twenty four special. So. Check those puzzles out if you haven't, because those are pretty intense. But anyways, let's get into today's puzzle from James. We have normal Sudoku rules apply. The sum of the digits inside each cage is equal to the small number in the top left corner, and digits cannot repeat within a cage. Digits on thermometers increase from the bulb. So we have standard killer rules, and we have standard thermometer rules. So for our killer cages... The digits in the cages may not repeat, and they must sum to the total given. So we need two digits that are different from each other, that sum to 3. Two digits that are different from each other, that sum to 12. Three that sum to 23. Three that sum to 16. So on and so forth. Then, for our thermometers here, we have uh, these uh, long things here, and uh, the circle bit is the bulb. As we move from the bulb to the tip of the thermometer, the digits must increase. That means this digit will be greater than this digit, this digit will be greater than this digit, so on and so forth, up the thermometer for each thermometer. Those are the rules. Let's jump right into it. All right. So, right off the bat, three, I can do one, two. 23, I can do six, eight, nine, but I think actually because of the thermometer, I can do better. If I were to place 8 or 9 here, then it would break the thermometer, which means this must be 6, which means this is 7, 8, and 9, respectively. 7 in two digits can't be 1, 6, it can't be 2, 5, it must be 3, 4. 9, 3, 4. 12, 7, so 7 actually does the same thing. 7 in three digits must be 1, 2, 4. This must be 4. This must be a 1, 2 pair. 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. 9 in 2 digits. Without, sorry, that's easy actually. Without using 2, 3, or 1, must be 4, 5. So it must be 1, 4, 5. I don't know the order yet. 10 will either be 2, 8, or 3, 7. 8 here. This has to be at least 5, because 5, 4, 3, 2... Oh, actually, 2, 1 doesn't work. 2, 1, this can't be 1. So, and it can't be 2 here. So the minimum this of this is actually 3. can't be 4 or 5. And it can't be 6. 6, 7, 8, 9 would break. So actually, sorry, this is easy. It can only be 3. Then from there, this is where things might go a little bit awry. 4, 5, 6, 7. Actually, it has to be that. 4, 5, 6, 7, because if we do anything else, this won't be able to account for, um, like if this was 8, obviously we would need like a 0, and this definitely couldn't be 9 for a couple reasons. So now we have 1, this is 2, this is 1. And probably if I think a little bit, I can do something similar with the 12. Before I think about that though, I wonder if I can do anything with this. 4... We can place 4, because 3, 4, this can't be 4, this can't be 4. 5, can't do that. 6, 7. 5, 6, 7. Oh, this can't be 6 or 7, so this is 5. So then we have a 6, 7 pair. All right. And now that gives us a little bit more info to work from than before. So now, oh, sorry, 1. I completely missed that. 1, 2, 1. That gets resolved right away. And actually, this can no longer be 3, 7. It must be 2, 8 which means because of the 8, it must be there. And now let's, sorry, let's go back here. 
Minimum this can be is 3. If we go 3, 3, actually, we see here, it must be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, because this can't be higher than 7. So it must be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And because of that, 3 with uh, in 12 requires 9. 9 gives us 8, 9. And we are... We're done with the content of the thermometers, but not necessarily the order. Maybe I've missed something and I should be able to place that, but it doesn't look like it. So now, let's just uh, let's just do some Sudoku. So we're missing 6 still, as well as 5 and 8. Alright, I'm not going to cut it. 5, 8. 1, 2, 3 though. Nope. 1, 2, 3. 1, 3, 7, 9. Oh, it feels like I want to do something. 3, 7. Oh, sorry. That's what it is. 3, 7 is 1, 9. 1, 9, 3, 7. Hmm. Maybe not. What is this here? 6, 7, 9. This is 6. 7, 9. I can't do. 7, 9 with 1. It does limit us here. 2, 2, 5, 8. 2, 8. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Excuse me. 6, 7, 8, 9. My goodness. 6. Pull out 9. I feel like there's just got to be something obvious I'm missing here. Can't be 8. Because it's 2, 8. 6, 7, 9, ah. Oh, no, but that doesn't really help because we already knew 6 went here. <laughs> 6, 7, 9, and 4. All right, 4, 6, 7, 9. This can't be 7, 9. Oh, this can't be 7, 9, or 6, so this is 4. 4, 6 is with 7, 9 here. 7, 9, and what? Three. Oh, and one. Wow. One, three, seven, nine. This can't be one, seven, or nine, so this is three. Oh, well, that's actually not helpful, because I was hoping three, four would give us something there. One, seven, nine. Maybe we can do something with that, but let's look here. Two, six. Two, five, six. Six can only go here. Two, five. I don't have it. 2, 5. 2, 5, and 1. 1, 2, 5. This can't be 2. This can't be 5. 1, 2, 5. So we have a chocolate teapot. 5, 2. Hmm. Oh, wait. 5. Sorry. 5. We don't have a chocolate teapot. This is 1. This is 2. This is 5. 5, 2. Fine. Ah, uh, seven. I guess this can't be seven. I missed that. Hmm. Two, one, three, one. Ah, uh, one gives us one here. Two, three leaves us with four, eight. We know the order. Four, eight. Four, eight. Then the leftovers. Three, seven, nine. Seven, nine. Seven gives us eight. 8, 6, 6, 6, 7, 9, hmm. 7, 9, 1, 7, 9, oh, 1, 1, where's the only place 1 can go now? Here, 3, 4, 5, 3, 5 gives us 4, 4 gives us 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 3, 7, and 1. 1, this is 3, this is 7. 7, 3, 3, 2, 3. And actually, 5 gives us 8, 5, 8, 2, 8. 7, 9, 7, 9, 1, 9. And we are almost done, folks. We're still missing 8 and 9. Across here, we still need to place 2 and something. 2 and 6. 7, 9 is resolved. 9, 7. 
And finally, to finish this off, we need 5, we need 7, and 8. Oh, <laughs> and we're, we still need to resolve this, 7, 9. And now we are done in 7 minutes and 56 seconds with Gasparilla by James Sinclair. So, hopefully you enjoyed, and thank you for watching.